Hi, in this lesson, you will learn about the draw loop and animation. The draw function runs as a loop. A loop is an instruction that repeats until a condition is met. The code inside the draw function runs continuously from top to bottom until the program is stopped. Having the draw loop repeat itself numerous times is helpful when we want to create animations because we can adjust our sketches with each repetition. Animation is a form of art that rapidly displays a sequence of still images to create an illusion of movement. This illusion is created by showing each individual drawing, called a frame, over and over 24 times per second. Frames per second, or FPS, is how fast or how many images are shown to you in one second. For example, 24 frames per second means there will be 24 drawings shown to you in one second, and 30 frames per second means there will be 30 drawings shown to you in one second. With P5.js, one frame is equivalent to one loop through the draw function. To adjust the frame rate or speed of the animation, we call the frame rate function. Frame rate specifies the number of frames to be displayed every second. For example, the function call frame rate 24 will attempt to refresh 24 times a second. By default, P5.js runs the draw loop at 60 frames per second, meaning the draw loop is repeated 60 times in one second. These animations seem to appear to be the same, but with more complex animations, the higher frame rates are able to capture smaller details and give the animation a more cinematic look. The frame count variable counts the number of frames that have been displayed. After each frame, the frame count variable is increased by one. For example, the first time the draw loop runs, the value of frame count is one. The second time the draw loop runs, the frame count is two, and so on. Let's head over to the code editor to create your first animation.